Hi there, my name is Alana, and today Maggie and I, Maggie and I are gonna be going through my empties. Wasn't sure if I was gonna film tonight. I had a long day at work. Um, I was kind of laying in bed and I was doing a little bit of editing, and Maggie was just cuddling up with me a ton, and I don't know. I thought I'd do my empties. So Maggie loves being in the same room as me. Maggie, you're gonna show up to the nice YouTube people? But she doesn't always like being held. But this is my beautiful girl. Maggie is half Siberian forest cat, half domestic. We've had her, she's about five years old now, so we've had her since she was a baby. Long, beautiful fur. Just a really delicate, sweet cat. I know on my channel, Winston, who's my white cat, he gets a lot more attention and love because he's just a lot more... Okay, Maggie, okay. That's all the holding I was gonna get from her. <laughs> I know Winston gets a lot more attention and love um, because he's often the one outside of my door yelling at me. Maggie's much more chill, much more relaxed, and just honestly a real sweetheart. So, <laughs> today we are gonna be going through my empties and this video is extra special because I've already filmed it. Um, and then I uh, uploaded the file to my computer and something went wrong and I pulled out the thing even though it said it was done and anyways, long story short, uh, I lost all the footage and yeah. So I had to go through my garbage again for a second time. But I'm happy to do it. I mean, I'm not that happy to do it, but I am willing to do it because I really do see a lot of value in empties content. I think empties are such a great way to a, reflect on products that don't always make their way onto my YouTube channel a traditional way, for example. I'm not the kind of YouTuber who wants to bring you into the shower with me, um, but I can talk about products I use in the shower. So I really like that aspect of empties. I like being able to sort of reflect back on skincare and show you a little bit of things that are being decluttered. So I do think they're, it's like really valuable content, which is why I'm redoing it tonight at nearly 9 p.m. after a long work day. So I tried to freshen up my makeup a little bit. So a little bit more of the kind of makeup I wear day to day uh, to work. And it's kind of day two hair, so like ponytail, but anyways, I think it's cute. So without any further ado, let's dive in. Also, I would normally be like looking at the I have, but I've sorted everything. <laughs> I've sorted everything into three main piles of kind of like makeup, skincare, and hair. So let's start with our skincare. Okay, so let's start off with some products that I think are getting a lot of hype online. That is Tula Skincare. So I have one product I recommend and one I do not. So we'll start with the product I recommend. This is the Tula Skincare, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I love how it smells. Mm, it has a sort of cucumbery spa water smell, which is really, really nice. The, um, the cleanser feels really soft on your skin, but it's not a cream cleanser. It's a gel based cleanser, which is what I prefer. Uh, but it's also not stripping. It lathers up nicely, although not like, it's not like really, really frothy, but it has a nice lather to it. It's just one of those concealers that... <laughs> okay, Maggie, do you want out of the room? Okay. Maggie wants out of the room. Or do you want to come cuddle? What do you want? Can we let you out? There you go. Okay, so that is it for filming with Maggie. Um, anyways, lathers up nicely, not but not too much. Feels great on the skin, smells like a spa. Really, really generous bottle size at 200 ml. I, I really enjoyed this, I will repurchase it. I do have a lot of deluxe mini skincare products that I wanna work my way through. You're gonna notice it a lot. There's a lot of products. I should always go put caveat in general. I am going through a process of sort of decluttering my beauty, skincare, makeup, PR, all of that. And part of that declutter process is just using products up. So there's a lot of products that when I say I would like to repurchase it, I will repurchase it. It just won't be for a while. So this definitely falls in that category. Can't wait to have it in my collection again, but I do need to finish off some other products first. Now onto a product I do not recommend. This is the Tula So Polished Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. And I don't really find it terribly exfoliating. My all-time favorite face scrub is the Transforming Walnut Face Scrub from Ulla Henriksen, which has been discontinued, which sucks. <sighs> so this one, it's a sugar scrub, um, and it does what most sugar scrubs do, which is dissolve. So it's very gentle. I'd say the first when you put it in your hand, kind of, I like to start here, kind of scrub up. So I'm scrubbing, scrubbing, but I'm to get to about here. 
I can feel it dissolving and by the time I get to my cheekbones there's like none left. So then I have to squirt out another blob into my forehead and then there isn't any left by the time I get to my nose. And I just find I end up using like three times as much product. So I went through this super quickly, which is not a win in my books. Um, and I just never really felt I got the exfoliation I was looking for. So if you like a gentle scrub, you might enjoy this, but uh, you probably will enjoy it. But I just, I like, I like a little more oomph in my scrub and just wasn't it for me. Um, the next one I'm not gonna spend too much time on. Uh, over the course of time, I have obtained many, many a pack of makeup wipes, and these ones got shoved in the back of a drawer, and I have a video, it might already be up, where I'm sort of reorganizing my drawers, and I found these, and they're all dried out, so couldn't really even tell you much about them, because, yeah, wipes aren't really my thing. Um, I did finish off another Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, so I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, you'll notice in my empties lately I've had a lot of Charlotte Tilbury Magic Creams. That's because I had like a half used one on my vanity and a half used one by my perfume and a half used one like in my makeup bag. And so I just had them everywhere. So I've been really just kind of focused on having one. So I now just have one on the go. So I'm very proud of myself. But I love Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I actually use it instead of a primer now. So even though I do have other moisturizers, this is one product I'm committed to repurchasing. And actually I already did repurchase. So I will have a haul video up either very soon or very recently, uh, and in that haul, I talk about how I bought more of this. So even though I have other moisturizers, this one, cut above the rest, I keep on repurchasing. Now, I spoke about having some skincare samples I'm trying to finish up, and a great example of that is Tatcha the Dewy Skincare Cream. This is a deluxe mini. I purchased it as an Ipsy add-on because at $3, it was such a great deal, um, and I have like eight of these in my drawer that I'm trying to work through. So I used this one up, it was great. Um, I used it as a night cream, and I also made sure that as I was using it as a night cream, I was like rubbing it into my hands. So pretty proud of myself. I've got many more to go, but I am looking forward to kind of decluttering that area of my life. Speaking of moisturizer, this one I loved. This is the Yensa Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream. This product, honestly, is an incredible dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I couldn't even believe it. I, I just, I couldn't believe it myself. Um, well, not that I couldn't believe it was dupable, but like it had really the same texture, the same feel, you know, a little different, but overall like really in the same kind of category, very thick, very nourishing, wears beautifully under makeup. Would definitely love to have this back in my life. I've actually recently kind of discovered Yensa products through Ipsy um, and I've been really impressed. So this one, 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay. Um, this one is not much to write home about. This is just a deluxe mini of the Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I remember getting this like seven years ago and thinking like there's nothing that magical about a cream. But I think as we age, our skincare needs change and my skin has gotten, it's always been dry, but it's gotten a lot drier. So I really appreciate the Magic Cream. But this one has gone like a translucent yellow. So I know it's expired because that's not what it's supposed to look like. And that was just floating in the back of one of my drawers. So I regret that Alana six or seven years ago didn't realize how great Magic Cream was. But you know, we live and learn. Um, okay, another product I finish up all the time. This is from Bioderma. This is the micellar water. I use this as my makeup remover every single night. I'm already working on another bottle. I see it. It's just over there. Um, forever repurchase. I had a friend, a dear friend of mine, um, like send me a text. Actually, no, it wasn't a text. She had a video called me from shoppers and she was like, Alana, I need a, like, a makeup remover. Which one? And I'm just like, go to the back of shoppers where they have like the fancy but not too fancy skincare. So they keep the Bioderma pink bottle bioderma done. So she's loving it. I'm obsessed. I use this all the time. Um, and honestly, you can go and check my past empties videos. You will see I use it all the time. Um, okay. Very exciting stuff. We have my deodorant. I like this deodorant. It's by degree. It's their most motion sense, pure rain scent. I don't really, it smells like rain, it just smells like deodorant. It's nice, it's fresh. It's available at Costco, I like that it's sold in the value size, in the like value pack, That's and it works. So that's a winner for me. And I will repurchase it for as long as Costco has it, and when Costco inevitably changes out their stock to something else, I'll probably purchase that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the pickiest with my deodorant. Um, this one, you can do it now. Probably, yeah, it's like, body skin. Uh, this is from Body Shop. This is the Satsuma Shower Gel Deluxe Mini. It smells beautiful. I really like it. I don't know, maybe this is like really nitpicky, but if I'm gonna have a shower in the morning, 
I like to have a citrus um, like scent when I can. If I'm showering in the evening, I like more of the gourmand kind of scents. I realize that's incredibly, incredibly picky. Um, I'm definitely more of an evening shower person just because it takes forever to dry all of this. Should I do my, no, I'm not gonna do my video like that. It takes forever to dry that, so I'd rather, I'd rather just fall asleep. Um, <laughs> and then my hair will be partially dry and then I can do my hair in the morning. Um, Anyways, I love this scent. It's probably my favorite, second favorite. I think I like the honey scent more. My second favorite scent from the body shop. And inevitably I will repurchase it, but I have so many body washes that I'm trying to work through. So I actually put a body wash in my cart at Shoppers um, last week. And I was like, Alana, don't be stupid. You have so much body wash. So another body wash I recently finished is the Wild Honey Flower Scent. This one is from Bath & Body Works. It smells amazing, kind of it's like a sweet honey flower. It's just a beautiful scent. Um, and again, maybe this is getting really TMI, but I think everyone has their reasons for purchasing things. And I think scent memory is such a big thing. Um, so my poppy, so my mother's father, he's been gone, gosh, nine, 10 years. It's been a while. I can't even believe it's been that long, to be honest. But he was a hobby beekeeper. And so he always had honey in his home and he always had like, he was always like selling honey on the driveway. And uh, when I was really into art in high school, I used to do a lot of painting with beeswax and he like collected beeswax for me. So I was, whenever I see something that's like honey or bee sort of oriented, whether it's like a scent, um, you know, I don't like, actually no, I, I do have a necklace. Anyways, whenever I see something sort of honey or bee oriented, it really reminds me of him. And so this, I don't know, this scent, it just, it just makes me happy. I, just, I really enjoy this. I would totally get the scent again. I do think it was limited edition though. It was a very long rambly answer to, I like honey scented things because my grandfather who passed away was a beekeeper. Um, okay, next up from the Bath and Body Works, we have a hand soap. And I just want to say, I actually should have two of these, but my husband thinks that when you finish a consumable, product like hand soap he thinks it goes in the garbage i don't tell him that i save my garbage to talk about it online so i actually have two of these because i had this scent in our kitchen and in our bathroom upstairs we finished both of them recently but anyways um, i love there's like a crack in my ceiling and it's really bothering me so yeah, I'm gonna have to get that looked at. <sighs> Anyways, this is the Almond Blossom Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I love the Bath & Body Works Gentle Foaming Hand Soaps. They're the only ones I purchased um, maybe six or eight months ago. I bought like 14 of them. So there's only two people who live in my house, me and my husband. So we've got more than enough to last a lifetime. But I love this Almond Blossom scent. I love almond scents. I feel like they're very gourmand, very beautiful. Um, currently we are using a um, champagne toast hand soap, which is again, a really beautiful, beautiful scent. And we will use that one until I feel like it's time to switch into fall scents and then winter scents. So <laughs> anyways, that's how I feel about hand soaps. Um, I, I love those hand soaps. I just, you know, I just like, I'm not gonna repurchase any until I get through those 14 or until I need a Christmas scent. Um, speaking of Christmas scents, I recently finished up a candle. This is one of my filming candles, so it's usually right here. I'll show you where I replaced it with really quickly. This is from, I never know how to pronounce it, Volupsa, Voluspa. Anyway, this is their bourbon vanilla. It smells beautiful, beautiful candle, so I've replaced it. Um, but this candle is from Nemo, sugar and spice candle. Mm, it smells so nice. I got it last Christmas. I got it last Christmas in PR and it was, it was just lovely. It is just lovely. So I'm sad to see this one go, but I am proud of myself for using it up. Okay, let's get to our next section, which is hair products. Okay, so on to our hair products. I think we'll start in the shower and we'll work our way through. So I recently finished up the Nexus Hydrolite Conditioner. This was really nice. Um, I think, do I still have the shampoo? I still have the shampoo in the shower, 
but I've been really enjoying this combo. It's very hydrating, lightweight on the hair. I really enjoy Nexus hair products and Nexus actually. So this one I purchased that they did recently send me their new shampoo and conditioner. So I think that's gonna be the next one in my rotation. I enjoy this one. I'm sure I will repurchase. I have a couple of brands I really like and whatever one's at sale, on sale at Shoppers when I run out, I purchase, but I do wanna kind of work through some of the deluxe minis I have, but I do enjoy this one a lot. Another product I really enjoyed, this is from Amica. This is the Cure Bond Repair Shampoo. Um, really great. This reminds me a lot of Olaplex. Felt great on the hair. I did finish the conditioner a while ago, but really, really great combo. Would love to have this in my life again. Speaking of things that are like Olaplex, what is more like Olaplex than Olaplex? So I do love the Olaplex system. I do have more products kind of in my reserve stock from Christmas. I know it's August. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, I also have um, like the full collection on the go in my shower right now, but this is the conditioner and the hair perfecter. So number five and number three, love the conditioner. For me, it's not like the most standout product in the range, but together I love the results that it gives. Uh, and number three is the uh, hair perfecter. So you can put it as a pre, kind of a pre-shampoo, pre-shower treatment. Love it, I know I need to do this again soon. I have my waiting for me, I just haven't had time. So it's like a note to self. Um, okay, on to hairstyling. I'm gonna start off with my favorite of the bunch. This is the Amica Brooklyn Bombshell Blowout Spray. Um, I, re have re ugh, I have recently repurchased, so I did actually use it when I did my hair yesterday with my Dyson Hair Wrap on my cute little day two hair. Um, I love this, it's a great product. I love Amica for styling products. I love their mousse, I love the bomb, they're just great, they're just great. They're just great. Now Maggie is crying outside of the door that she's not inside. And a minute ago she was crying that she was inside and not outside. Wonderful. <sighs> Anyways, fantastic product, forever repurchase. Um, in terms of, I was supposed to say conditioner. In terms of hairspray, um, this is from Shorkoff. This is their, I won't say Oasis, but OSIS Plus. Strong Cold Hairspray, Medium Control, and I actually finished the whole thing. Um, I do have some of the hairsprays I'm working on, like you haven't heard that a thousand times, but I really enjoyed this hairspray. I thought it was great. Um, another hairspray I enjoy is from Kristen S. This is the Ultra Fine Workable Hairspray Brushable Texture Heat Protecting Style Shaping Light and Layer for All Hair Types. Um, I love this. I do not love the nozzle. I'm not gonna spray because I don't think I'll ever be able to turn it off but it still has like half the product left, maybe a third. And every time I press it down, it just would get stuck and then it wouldn't come back up. So I do know my cats knocked this off the counter and it fell, so I don't entirely blame the brand. I do blame my cats in part. Um, so I did repurchase this only because I wanted to get the full enjoyment of a bottle and I have been enjoying it quite a lot. Um, another hairspray from L'Oreal. This is a mini of um, Elnet Satin, which is their extra strong hairspray. I think it's good. Like. I like the other ones better though, so. But like, I would totally buy that one because it's in a travel size, like I would travel with it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to like have the full size of that at home. Um, okay, one product I am obsessed with. This is from Moroccan Oil, it's a luminous hairspray finish in medium. It smells like a spa, I love the smell of Moroccan Oil. Uh, really soft, fine mist, stunning. Um, travel size, I did finish this, I believe, on my most recent vacation. Um, Love it. Uh, would love to have the full size back in my life. Would love to have a replacement of the mini, but I do have some other products I want to finish off first. Um, but I, I love Moroccan oil. Okay, next up we have from Mark Anthony, their Maximum Moisture Hydro Lock. I can't tell you anything about this product um, because it was in my like drawer that I recently cleaned out and then it was empty and the area around it was sticky. So this just leaked out everywhere. So that makes me sad. Um, okay, from Kerastas, we have the, I'm like, where's the English on this? The Nectar Thermique, which is 